Okay, here we go. It's Tuesday, August 2nd. I got done working, so I figured I'd do something spontaneous and make a little video for you. And it starts out with an important ingredient because I've been wanting egg salad sandwiches for some time. And the process started with my Instant Pot and my relationship with it, which has been tenuous for a couple of years. But I finally bucked up and decided to try it and use it because I'd been scared of the steam thing, you know. And uh, anyway, long story short, today I made two batches of boiled eggs inside of it. The first one didn't do so well I, I as far as when you peel it, getting the shell off. And the second batch of three eggs was much more successful. And what I did is the difference... <clears throat> Between the two is the first time you pour a cup of water in the bottom of the Instapot and then I had a rack that stood about six inches above the water and the shell didn't peel so well. The second time around, I used this and that put the egg just above the surface of the water. So that was the difference between batch number one and batch number two. Batch number two, the shells peeled beautifully off, and you can see them right here. And that worked. So here we go. Here's the end result of what I did. Um, there's six eggs in here from both batches, and I used this whisk to break up the eggs into chunks. It's mixed with Miracle Whip, not mayonnaise, because that's not my cup of tea. Um, and I've got some paprika in there. And that's tasting great. I already sampled it. And I like certain kinds of bread. I don't care for white bread whatsoever. It's got nothing in it that's good for you, period. So I like this more expensive bread, and that's what I'm going to use. And so here we go. I'm going to open the bread. This is very exciting. I know that you've never seen how other people open a bag of bread because we all do it differently, don't we? So what I do is I reach over here to my right and grab my kitchen shears and I cut it like that because that's very fancy when you do it that way. Not everybody does, but that's how I roll. So it's actually me making this video, as you can see. All right, seal the bread. I'm only going to make... Well, I'm going to set this aside because I'm going to make more sandwiches. I'm going to have lunches on the go prepared. So here we go. You can see the bread. And I've got the cat underneath my feet tripping me. But you can see my fancy bread. And you can see that I've got egg salad to put on it. Of course, that's, that's what I do. Every time I prepare something, I make a mess. Every time I pour something, I spill. Every time I eat something, I wear it down the front of my shirt. So I'm consistent, that's all I can tell you. Consistency is good. Consistently funny because everybody laughs at me and the things that I do. But I can guarantee that this egg salad sandwich is gonna taste amazing. Second part of the video that I wanna caution you on is when you go shopping, if you buy beverages like Crystal Light, for instance, this is almost a buck more expensive than the Meyer brand of the similar product. And if that's not bad enough, you can see this picture here. This picture is pretty cool because it's got a pump on it. And who doesn't like to pump? That's my pump picture. It makes bubbles and everything. And how cool is that? So in my pump picture, to get the appropriate amount of flavoring, I have to use two Crystal Light packages. So when you buy the container, it costs about a buck more, and I have to use twice as much to get the flavor. And then if I go with the Meyer brand, and I've got a cat clawing me, thank goodness that he went to the vet and got those uh, claws trimmed and filed because he's no longer killing me. Uh, Meyer brand, their equivalent, one of these packets is sufficient where you get a great flavor. So I'm going to use the orange brand. 
And I was talking about my super sweet scissors before. And I'm gonna put this over here with the eggshells. Pour it into my pump pitcher. And you're gonna see how exciting pumping is. Everybody should pump as often as possible. So you pull this and you simply pump. Oh my goodness. That was a very quick spurt after pumping, but the flavor is going to be delightful. Oh my God, it's still spurting. This is very embarrassing and you're catching every moment of that. So, <laughs> so there we go. That's my very first cooking slash beverage making video. And I'm not good at either of those things, but there you go. I hope this gives you a good laugh. <laughs> I will see you next time, and I want great reviews.